everyone, welcome back to the makeup chair. For today's video, I'm going to be talking about my favorite bath and shower products because I am a little bit obsessed. I used to be a stress eater and now I am a de-stress bather showerer. So I always like to have really nice products and make sure to leave a comment let me know what your favorite products are. But I'm going to share with you guys mine and it just so happens that I was putting out all of my products and realized that they're all by Soap and Glory. So this isn't like a sponsorship by Soap and Glory or anything like that. In the drugstore that I go to, Boots, they always have three for two. So I buy two shower gels and then buy something extra along with it. So that's how I've got to kind of learn about all these products and I repurchase some and I don't repurchase others and stuff but I've ended up loving most of the stuff that I've got from Soap and Glory. So let's just jump in. I'm gonna start off with my shower gel. I've got them all back here. I have the Foam Call and I have the Clean On Me. I love their names, it's so cute. This is the Dual Use Shower and Bath um, Body Wash. And what I really like about this is that you can use it in the bath. It's thick enough to use in the bath, it gets good bubbles, it foams up quite nicely, but I don't like the smell. So that's just been a like, mm, it's too manly for me. I think it's like a unisex kind of thing like you know but for me I just think it's a bit manly I like my girly thing this is the clean on me and this is my favorite one it smells very similar to hand food so if you're a big fan of hand food I think you'll like this one it smells really good it feels good I love taking my showers especially because it has a pump as well it just makes it so much easier when you're in the shower even though it's really moisturizing on the skin you still feel like your skin is clean I find with some of those moisturizing shower things your skin feels moisturized, but it doesn't feel squeaky clean, whereas it does with this. I cannot stress enough how much I love this. I'm kind of addicted to it. And on a recent trip to Boots, I also decided to try the bubble bath. This pretty much smells exactly the same, and it is so gorgeous and lovely. And when you put it in the bath, your entire bathroom smells divine and delicious. And then the bubbles, for me, the bubbles just feel so good. They feel so moisturizing. They feel so smooth. I love it. I love that about it. So this is my new favorite. I love it so much. But I do often use that shower gel. Even though it has the pump, I just like pump it over the water. Or sometimes I take the cap off and pour it in. This one has a cap on it, so it's just much easier just to pour the thing in. I've got some on my hands now. But it smells so good. Another product that I love when I'm actually in the bath is the No Clogs Allowed. It's a mask, but it's also an exfoliator in one. And that's why I love it so much, because it's a multi-purpose thing. It only takes five minutes, and if you don't have a lot of time, you can still have a nice facial at home. Use a grape size amount, blend it all over the skin, and it will attach itself to your skin, so you don't have to worry about being very careful. Apply it all over, then dampen your hands and start to rub it in. And what you want to do is to make sure that the mask goes blue. It'll go a really light blue. And then leave it on for about five minutes, rinse it off, and you're going to have baby soft skin. It feels so good. My skin is like baby soft. And the exfoliator I like to use on my body is the Flake Away. I mentioned this in my tan removal video, which I'll put in the description box. This is a very thick, really luxurious sort of... Oh my gosh, I can't... It's just too... It smells too good. It's not like a really rough scrub. It just feels like you're exfoliating, you're just getting rid of just those little extra bits that are hanging around and it also has that thick kind of oil in it as well so it moisturizes at the same time. I think they have another exfoliator which I want to try so I'm going to try that next as soon as I finish this one but I do love this one, it's really good. And then when I pop out of the shower or the bath I use my moisturizers and I have two that I use on my body. I have the Righteous Body Butter in the lotion and I also have it in the actual body butter tub. This one is sort of just a thinner kind of lotion-y version of this. I like this for like the knees, the elbows, the feet, anywhere that's super super dry and then I apply this all over my entire skin and I love how good it smells and how you wake up smelling good because sometimes you apply a body lotion that smells good and then by the end of the day or by the time you wake up in the morning it's just gone. Whereas these smell good for pretty much like I would say 24 hours. I think this is the second one that I've gone through in the last eight months. So I'm starting this new one. I have a little bit left in the older one. This one is pretty much halfway gone. And one thing that I've been trying out, which is a little bit new, is this Sit Tight Super Intense Firming Lotion. I don't know if anybody's tried this. It's basically got this caffeine enriched serum that you use the little balls on here to like rub over areas and it's supposed to firm it up. So I'm going to be trying that out. I used to use it and I totally forgot about it. And when I was going through all of my bath stuff, I found it in the bottom of the container. And I was like, I think I'll give this a go and see what it's like. So I'll keep you guys updated on this one. And then for my face, I use the Youthful Serum. I like this because it doesn't break me out. And you guys know that I suffer 
suffer from acne. So if I use a regular moisturizer at night, even though it works during the day, at night for some reason my skin just goes, no, we don't need you, and then we just, like it just breaks out. So it's not good, whereas this doesn't break me out, it's the serum. So those are all my favorite products that I use out of the bath, in the bath sort of thing. Please, please let me know if you have any Soap and Glory favorites or if you have any bath favorites in general. Just leave a comment because I'm always looking to try like maybe new masks, maybe a hair mask because I haven't tried a hair mask yet. So let me know, leave a comment, and I will see you guys on Friday. Oh, it's a giveaway on Friday, so make sure to check that out. Bye guys. Four, three, four, five kind of brushes that you kind of need. And I'm going to talk you guys through each one to help you pick the best one for you. Starting off with foundation brushes, I have two options. And the reason I have two options is because you want to take into consideration your skin 